My UPS is an alarm. What should I do? Sometimes you may get an alarm on your UPS and you don't know what it means or what you should do. There are many different alarms and notifications that a UPS can display, and oftentimes they may differ depending on the manufacturer of the UPS. So in this video, I'll be discussing the three main categories of alarms and notifications, what they mean, and how they should be handled. A critical alarm. This requires an immediate dispatch of a field service technician. An intermediate level alarm. This may or may not require a dispatch, but still warrants a phone call to a service provider. A system normal notification. This is not an emergency. It is simply a notification that lets you know that the system is functioning as it should. I'll begin by further explaining critical alarms that require a call to your service provider and an immediate dispatch of a field service technician. Bypass. Bypass means that the utility power is still coming in, but the UPS is not energized. The UPS has failed to bypass and is no longer supporting the critical load. On battery. This is when a utility power failure has occurred and the UPS is in battery mode. The UPS is now using batteries to energize the equipment. Battery power is limited, so if the utility power does not return, prepare your IT equipment for shutdown. An emergency procedure should be in place for your IT personnel to respond accordingly. Low battery. This is also when a utility power failure has occurred or battery power is limited and the UPS is now in battery mode. The UPS is preparing to shut down because it is in battery mode and the DC voltage is approaching its low limit. Battery power is limited, so if the utility power does not return, prepare your IT equipment for shutdown. Over temperature. In this case, the UPS has an internal temperature that is too high and or a fan failure has occurred. Ensure that the airflow around the UPS is not restricted by clearing the vents. Replace the air filter if necessary and remove any heat sources. Check for fan failure. Ensure the air conditioning in the room is functioning properly. If the alarm cannot be cleared, it may be required to put the UPS in bypass or shut down the UPS to prevent component damage. Next I'll review intermediate level fault notifications that may or may not require immediate dispatch of a field service technician, but still warrant a phone call to a service provider. These include Overload. This means that the power requirements of the load have exceeded the UPS's capacity. The UPS will continue to operate, but may switch to bypass if the load does not decrease. This can usually be fixed by the IT staff removing some of the equipment from the UPS. The alarm resets when the condition becomes inactive or the load has been reduced. Battery test fail. This means that one or more of the batteries have failed and are in need of service or replacement. And finally, there's system normal notifications. In many cases, a UPS notification is not an emergency at all and does not require a phone call or a dispatch. These are just simply notifications to let you know that the UPS has done its job and the system is functioning as it should. Examples include bypass unavailable or bypass out of tolerance. This means that there is likely a utility power issue. However, the UPS is still supporting the load. This is usually not a concern. This is simply telling you that the quality of the commercial power seen by the UPS is inferior. The alarm should clear on its own once the utility power has returned to normal. System normal. The UPS is energized with utility power or has successfully transferred to generator during utility outage. Either way, the UPS is supplying conditioned power to the critical load. All systems are normal and operating successfully. So those are some of the most common alarms and notifications that you will see on your UPS. So remember, if it's a critical alarm, call Titan Power for an emergency dispatch. If it's an intermediate level alarm, call Titan Power. And for system normal notifications, keep calm. If you ever have any questions about alarm on your UPS system, who are you gonna call?